Hey, so a little while ago I made this Foley beat video. And I got a lot of really good questions and interest about the individual clips that made it up. So I thought I would do a follow-up video where I kind of go through in detail and explain what all of those elements were used for. So first of all, I chose all those different elements for different reasons. Some of them are percussive and some of them are more ambient and I just thought they would add like a nice layer to the whole song. So a lot of people were asking how I actually put the clip physically together. Originally all those videos were shot on my iPhone so uh, all the audio and all the video was done with the phone. So to make the song itself, um, I took those original video clips and I extracted the audio from those and imported them all into uh, GarageBand on separate tracks and then by kind of cutting those and moving them around and editing uh, I was able to make the final song that you hear. Then once that was done I imported that song into an app called Splice which is a video editing kind of software that's free. Uh, then I took all the original video clips and brought that into Splice and muted them and then edited the video to match uh, the song that I had already put together. So I had to do the song first and then put the video together to match it. It sounds very complicated, but the whole thing took like probably three hours uh, and it was all done on the phone. So try it yourself if you're interested. So the first element of the song is kind of like a vinyl crackling um, when a needle is placed on a record. And uh, originally when I created that sound, it was not for that use at all. It was to just be kind of dust and debris settling when a car drove into the side of a house. Um, but it does sound like vinyl crackle to me. Uh, so even though that wasn't the original intention, I think it worked well to kind of simulate that old school sort of record sound at the beginning of the song. The second element is a Tibetan singing bowl, which is uh, often used for, you know, prayer, meditation, relaxation purposes. And uh, I made that sound while I was working on a film called I do until I don't, which is a comedy that uh, had a scene that took place at a yoga retreat. But uh, I just kind of felt it added a nice kind of subtle melodic tone to the overall beat. So the next sound that kicks in then is the bass drum or simulated bass drum. Um, so what I'm using is uh, a combination of three elements that are happening at the same time. Um, there's a big wooden stump being dropped onto a wood floor, um, me kind of thumping on a body bag, and then the final thing is like a wicker basket that I'm kind of slapping. Um, originally, I was using that sound because we did uh, Foley for an animated film called Red Shoes and the Seven Dwarfs. And in that film, there's a scene where a giant wooden creature is kind of bouncing down the side of a cliff and all those impacts were um, elements for the body impacting the cliff. But it makes a good bass drum. So right after the bass drum, the snare drum comes in um, and the snare drum is made up of two elements. One is an axe being dropped into a stump, which is what happened in the scene. Uh, in the film and the second thing is me tearing jeans and that was for a show called Nightfall night like knight fall and it was used to be part of an element of a stab just the clothing tear as somebody gets stabbed in the show but together I think they make a nice kind of bright snare sound if I look up at the screen my hand is gone so all right Uh, the Foley hi-hat, which is always what people comment on most about this video, is me twisting a bunch of celery. Um, obviously I have it over and over and over and over to make that hi-hat sound, but uh, that celery was originally used um, for like a gory element in one of the Conjuring series. I just chose it because it's kind of percussive and I thought it would be short enough to do, you know, repeatedly and simulate the hi-hat sound. The zipper you hear is uh, actually a body bag uh, and I use that many times for 
many, you know, cop series. Um, Bones comes to mind. I think there were countless episodes of Bones that had body bags in there. Um, I just thought it would add a nice kind of layer to the sound. The whoosh element, which uh, I just kind of put in to add another kind of rhythm to the overall texture of the song, uh, is actually a golf driver with the uh, head of the driver broken off. Uh, yes, I broke it off when I was mad golfing one day, but Foley artists don't throw anything away, and now it's one of my favorite whoosh sticks. Um, we use that sound for simulating uh, different types of fast movement in films. It could be like sword swings or fast punches or arrows whizzing through the air. Uh, I have a whole set of those that are, they're not all golf drivers, but uh, of sticks that are of, you know, various thickness, and so their pitches vary according to the size of them. The large metal resonant barrel uh, was used in a film called El Chicano, where somebody gets actually thrown into a barrel. Uh, so that was one of the layers when we were making that sound. Uh, there was also like a body fall and some hands and some clothing rustle. I'm breaking the vodka bottle for a scene in a series called Queen of the South, where a bar gets trashed by uh, rivals. Yeah, I like that. The whip crack, I'm actually not recording on that video. I'm just kind of practicing in the hall because uh, it was something I had to kind of learn how to do for uh, a film called Fifty Shades of Black kind of romantic comedy spoof of uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, but it's really good cracky percussive elements, so I thought it would work well with the beat. <laughs> so the horse galloping toward the end of the, that beat is uh, made up of three elements. The first is actual horse hoofs being pounded on uh, grass and these were ethically obtained years ago, 30 years, I'm sure at least. Uh, they've been at the studio since I've been there. And then some uh, bridle jingling, as well as some leather horse reins. Uh, so they worked together to make the sound of a galloping horse, and it was just a cool rhythm that I thought uh, would work really well. Like honestly, I've done that sound so many times, I don't remember what I was actually working on when I filmed that one. Um, but it's always done to match the picture, so the galloping or the trotting or cantering or whatever is in time with the horse on the screen. And then I wanted to find just like a final punctuation to sort of end the song before it got too muddled, uh, and I chose to do the car window smash element. Um, that was made up of four sounds. There's like a knife pounding on the door itself, then a rock against the car window, not too hard, because I didn't want to actually break it, uh, but I needed a good glass impact sound. And then the other two are both car safety glass kind of just falling. One is on concrete for the outside of the car, and one is on a leather seat to, uh, you know, make the sound of the glass that's falling into the car. So all those sounds just kind of get layered one after another uh, and it sort of builds to the final moment where the car window gets smashed.
hope that helps answer your questions about this and uh, I hope you enjoyed a little explanation about where all those things came from. Uh, as always, please subscribe. I appreciate it. It really makes it fun to do this when I know people are going to watch it. So thanks a lot. Take care.